Now that you're in the app, let's take a look at some of the new areas you can access. We'll go over these areas in more detail later, but for now, let's just get a basic idea of where everything is. You'll notice on the left, there are a list of different categories, Bibles, topics, commentaries, and such. These categories are the best place to open a title in the app. Underneath, you'll notice Read and Study. These are the two modes the BibleSoft app uses. Study mode is automatically brought up when you first create or log back into your account. The differences are fairly easy to recognize. Read has one pane, Study has two, but you can always verify the mode you're in by looking at the bottom left corner underneath the category list. The mode you're in will be highlighted. For the purposes of these tutorials, we will refer to the left pane as the reading pane and the right pane as the study pane. The reading pane is where the title appears after selecting it from the categories on the left. The study pane is used when cross-referencing topics, commentaries, and original languages. You can move back and forth quickly through the titles in these panes by clicking on the arrows on either side. Left will take you back a chapter and right will move you forward a chapter. If you look to the right above the study pane, you'll see four icons, link panes, full screen, search, and main options. To the very right side of the app, you'll see a list of icons. These are different features that will commonly show up in the study pane. The home icon has activity, bookmarks, custom highlight sets, and notes. The reference icon allows you to use the study pane for when you need to read up or sync up an additional title. Notes opens up a simple Word document in the app where you can add any thoughts you may have on a verse. Explore Passage utilizes the Treasury of Scripture Knowledge, a popular title in PC Study Bible. This title allows you to look up related verses to the passage that you're in. But the Explore Passage feature allows you to access commentaries, Bibles, and New Testament Greek, provided you're in the New Testament. Explore Word is a new feature for BibleSoft. It shows how many times the focused word is used throughout the Bible. Maps brings up biblical locations in relation to modern day borders. When you right click in each pane, you'll be given more options that are specifically used for adding a node or a bookmark. You can explain a passage, open the explore word feature, share to Facebook or Twitter, copy the selection, or add the text to a highlight set.